Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Ideaspot, and in today's WordPress tutorial, you're going to learn how to set up WordPress so it automatically updates. Are you tired of having to update WordPress every time you log in? You'll have to update a bunch of themes and plugins. Well, what if I told you with just a few little setting changes, you could get WordPress to do this automatically? So if that sounds interesting, keep watching. The first thing you'll need to do is head over to wherever your hosting is and head into the hosting control panel. So in this case, the hosting control panel looks a bit like this. Yours might look a little bit different, but it's not really important. All you need to do is find our file manager. So my file manager looks like this. Yours might be in a little bit different place and look a little bit different, but it's not really important. Just find it and click on it. Once you're into the file manager, you'll want to find where is WordPress installed. So usually it's under htdocs or public HTML, one of those two. Um, so go ahead and open that. Um, so you'll know you're there because everything is called WP something. So that's all WordPress. You'll want to find a file called WP config. Let's go ahead and click that one and edit. So the interface might be different depending on what system you're using, but we just want to edit this file. From here, we just scroll down and find the end here, so where it says, that's all, stop editing, happy publishing. We just wanna paste these couple lines in here. So it's called define WordPress auto update core. That's true. So uh, that will mean WordPress core will automatically update. Go ahead and save those changes and close out of that file. So what that change does is when WordPress say 5.4 comes out, WordPress will automatically update to 5.4. So you won't have to actually manually update that. So that is a little bit of a time saver. Um, I'm gonna post that little bit of code in the description. So you don't have to remember it. You can just copy and paste it yourself. And I'll show you how to update the plugins and themes automatically now. So keep watching. So we are back in our file manager. Let's go into WP content. And we're gonna to wanna to find our plugins. Let's click plugins and let's make a new folder here. I'm gonna call this one um, idea spot updater and click okay. And let's open that folder we just made. Let's make a new file in there and I'm gonna call this one updater, updater.php and click okay. And there we go, we've got a blank file that we can edit. So now I'm gonna paste this little bit of code I made um, the first bit is PHP, and then we put our plugin name, our description, and our author. You can put your own name as the author. You can name it whatever you want. The only lines that actually do anything are these ones that add filter to auto update plugins and add filters to auto update the theme. So when that's all pasted in, hit save. Again, I'll put this code in the description so you can try it for yourself, and then hit close. So now we've got a plugin that we made ourselves, and it's called Ideaspot Updater. So now let's head back to our WordPress dashboard on our plugins page and let's see what happens when we refresh this page. Okay, so after I refresh the page, we've got a new plugin called Automatic Plugin and Theme Updater by Ideaspot version 1.0 to auto update themes and plugins. So let's activate that one. If we've done everything correctly, it'll say plugin activated. So there you go, you just made a plugin. So if you've managed to follow these steps, and you can use WordPress, so you can use the front end of a website, and now we've done something on the back end of a website, you're basically a full stack developer now. So um, go put full stack developer on your resume and go get a big money job in Silicon Valley. But seriously though, making a little plugin like that, it's a lot of, um, it can be a lot of fun and you learn a little bit more about WordPress rather than just searching for plugins. It's nice to do one as simple as that, and it does a very helpful thing that's gonna save you some time. So hope you enjoyed it. If you don't actually want to go through that process, I'm gonna zip the plugin up in a zip file and I'll put that in the description too. So you can just download it and then use the upload plugin function in WordPress and just, um, just drop the file in and you can install that little plugin yourself without having to do the coding. So um, honestly, try out the coding. It's, it's kind of fun if you've never tried it before. Now, if you didn't like any of that, uh, there's a more fancy option called Easy Updates Manager. Um, you can just go ahead, download it, it's free. It gives you a lot more flexibility than that little piece of code I just made. So you can handle um, a very granular 
approach to updating themes and plugins. You can select which ones you want to update automatically, which ones you might want to test first before you update them. Uh, it can be pretty helpful. So this is another good alternative uh, if you don't really want to get your hands dirty with code. The other thing I should mention is with SiteGround, you don't have to worry about any of this. It's under auto update and WordPress auto update. So it will do major releases, minor releases and plugins automatically anyway. So um, that'll save you a lot of time. That's just in your SiteGround account under WordPress and auto update. So anyway, I hope that was fun. Drop a comment if you managed to actually make your own little plug in there, because I'd love to hear from any of my subscribers or viewers uh, who enjoyed making their first plug in with WordPress. But otherwise, I'm going to come back next time and I'm going to do a little bit more detail into the Easy Updates Manager plugin. So uh, that might be more suitable for some of us as well. So um, make sure you hit subscribe and I'll see you next time.